Good morning everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Janice. I'm a Thermomix consultant. I've been following a few posts on Facebook where they've been talking about the Portuguese bread recipe. Um, I generally am not a trend follower, but I thought everyone is raving about this recipe. So I'm going to give it a go. And then I also thought, since I'm going to give it a go, let's do a video and pop it up on my YouTube. So it's, it's a very simple recipe with only basic ingredients. And we'll just jump straight into it. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to pronounce the name. It's P-A-O-D-E-A-G-U-A. Pao de Agua. I don't know. Someone out there might know how to pronounce it. We'll start cooking. So first up, we're going to look in the bowl and make sure it's empty. Very good. Now we're going to add water. So I've got, um, we want 550 grams of water. So this has got not much yeast, but a really long rising time. Um, 720 grams of strong white bread flour. Oops. There we go, I've floured my thermomix. Oops. And then they say we need a bit more um, next, now we're going to put the, so all we've put in there is flour and water. And we're going to give that a mix up. 20 seconds of speed six. Now we're going to leave that to hydrate for 40 minutes. So right here, we'll come back after 40 minutes. We'll set a timer for 40 minutes. So you can go here, there. Now oh, where'd it go? Um, there it is. This wasn't holding the tongue right. And so that'll chime and tell me when it's um, ready for the next step. Rightio, so that's been hydrating for 40 minutes. And now it says to add our yeast. So I'll just... That's it there. Now it, it wants a teaspoon of instant dried yeast or... 10 grams of fresh crumbled yeast. And then 10 grams of salt. So I know when I was growing up, we were always told not to put our, let our salt touch our yeast, so. And then we're going to knead it for six minutes. It's a long kneading time. Right I won't make you watch it all. I'll come back when it's finished kneading. Rightio, so that's been kneading for six minutes. And now we're going to leave it in the mixing bowl 
um, until doubled in size and it's going to take approximately two hours. So I'll just show you. Um, so this bread only gets the one rise. Um, once, once it's doubled in size, um, you tip it out onto a, a baking tray um, and without knocking too much air out of it. And then you shape it, split it, and put it in the oven. So right here, I'll be back once our bread mix, our bread dough has doubled in size. Um, so we've been leaving this, it's actually been in the bowl a little over two hours. Um, and I think it's probably doubled its size by now. Um, so some of the photos I've seen on Facebook have shown that the bowl is overflowing. But I think that's well and truly doubled in size. So, and I've, I've got the um, oven preheating because it said towards the end of the time, preheat the oven to 250 and see tip. Um, I'll just see what it's what the tip said. So if we scroll down here, some ovens do not go up to 250. In this case, bake at 230 to 35 to 45 minutes, or until the loaves sounds hollow when tapped underneath. Right yet. So I have got it heating to 250. Now dust a baking tray with a strong white bread flour. And then we're going to transfer the dough onto this tray. So let's go like this. So let's see how well it comes out. Yep. fairly clean. Get the blade out. Righto. And it says without kneading too much, and shape the dough into a loaf mould by tucking. So I just gotta gather it up. Flip it over and by tucking the sides underneath. What's that? Okay. Right here. So let's, that's underneath. Use a sharp knife. We're going to, I'm going to use my new knife from the mix shop. I can't, I've got to stop calling it new. I've had it for a while now. So we're going to cut it along there. I wonder how deep it says. Cut a slit. Right here, let's do it like that. A bit more. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to bake it for 25 to 35 minutes um, until the loaf sounds hollow when tapped underneath. Right here, I'm going to pop that in the oven. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm just, I've just moved on to the next step, and the very last step is to transfer to a wire rack to cool completely before serving. So when I get it out of the oven and it's on the wire rack, I'll bring you back then. So this is our um, Portuguese bread. Um, I must, I didn't flour it enough, the bread, because it's, if that's supposed to be dark and we're supposed to have a white floury crust, but anyway, there's a little bit of flour left on there. Um, I'm gonna cut a slice, it's, it's, it's all cool, I'm gonna cut a slice. Um, um, this is our, the bread knife, this is my bread knife from the mix shop with the guide. 
um, it cuts beautiful slices of bread. Oh, look at that. Let's cut another slice. Oh, look at that. Look at the big open. That is just perfect. See the big open, I don't know what you call that, the holes, the big holes in the bread. So that's beautiful. Might, um, that just looks amazing. I'm going to have a little taste. Okay. Oh, it feels nice and soft. Really spongy. Mm. Mm. It's a heavier texture, but that is really nice flavour. The extra brown edge is really nice. Mm. Yes, that is, I'm definitely going to be making that one again. Right here. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Let's do it like this. Um, I hope I'll see you next time. Um, in the meantime, if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up and pop over to my channel and subscribe. I hope I'll see you next time.